Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Bradenton, Florida at Poblano's guys doing this absolutely ridiculous taco challenge. Like, I don't even really know where to begin with it. I've never seen a taco challenge like this ever and it was definitely not quite what I was expecting. I understood that, you know, the guy said like there's a lot of cheese and that's the hardest part of it, but oh my gosh, there like really was that much cheese. I just, I couldn't even fathom it when this came out. Um, so this is ultimately their taco challenge. So it's 20 tacos, 20 hard shell tacos, um, ground beef filling, a um, little bit of uh, lettuce, tomato, uh, maybe sour cream in there. So pretty standardized in that regard, but then lots of cheese. Wow, a lot of cheese. Put it that way. I would seriously say that there was more weight and cheese on this plate than anything else. It was absolutely insane. Um, I mean, it definitely made it a challenge, especially for somebody like myself who really does not enjoy the flavor of cheese, especially this kind of cheese, especially as it was in this quantity. That being said, um, 40 minutes to do the challenge. It had not been completed in a few years. There were a couple winners years ago. I mean, they figured again the record was somewhere about 30, 35 minutes around those lines. Try some Salsa Verde. Not bad. You actually get really solid prizes for completing this challenge. Uh, not only was it the free meal, um, but it was also, uh, it was three or five, I forget, but like entree coupons. So like that's significant. I mean, like three to five entrees. I think it actually might've been five. Like those, that's worth a bit, good bit of like money. Like it's good value. So if you think you can complete this challenge, I mean, you know, let's just say the stakes might be a little high and the cheese is high. Probably a couple minutes in, this is a never ending pile of cheese, that's for sure. Two minutes and 25 seconds. There we go. 
I have to give a huge shout out to the uh, staff there. Everybody was excellent. They were very, very friendly. They were very accommodating, um, which really helps make the experience. Again, a place which seemed happy to serve their challenge. And this uh, challenge, or at least as we were told, like it wasn't beefed up at all for us. Like this is the way they do their tacos. Um, they do have kind of like a Taco Tuesday, I think it was. And I think even like you could order a specialized taco like this but definitely for all the challenges that's what makes it you know really like the taco challenge is different than their normal tacos is all this cheese um, which I like I said I just I don't even know how much cheese was on there but it was so much um, so basically it's a cheese challenge I'd say more than a taco challenge but um, you can tell I'm really enjoying the flavor of the cheese no seriously though um, like I said I'm not a big cheese fan but the tacos themselves tasted good uh, I had some good old Diet Coke there to help me get that cheese down. The salsas were great. Um, and like I said, again, just the staff, the environment, everything was really good in that regard. So absolutely no complaints. Um, so Bradenton, it is kind of in the, uh, it's like a little bit north of Sarasota. Um, so if you're kind of in that area, passing by, doing all that rounds, maybe driving down to Fort Myers from Tampa, you'll probably go right on by it. Um, and that's where essentially what actually happened to us. We are driving by and realized, hey, there was actually a challenge close by. So we investigated it, and there we go. So really starting to dive into salsas at this point, try to switch up from some flavors. But besides that, I didn't really have much of a strategy besides just eat the tacos. Um, and that was about it. So eat the tacos, get them done. Hopefully uh, not, uh, you know, get blocked up with all that cheese. And No. Oh my God. That's so soft. And beautifully crunchy. It melted in my mouth. Look at that beef. Like I made it. You know, just some depth of flavor. Just tried to balance out the spices as much as I could. Didn't go crazy on anything. I was kind of equal parts to it. And it ended up working out amazing in my favor. I gotta show you again. Can't get enough of it. That meat, you have to do that to your meat. Just to make it that amazing consistency. That goes good with these, absolutely. All right, I'm gonna get a little freaky with the Valentina here. I think it's required. While I'm doing that, I just wanna say two chastities yeah, that some of you guys requested almost very similar things. So I'm trying to roll out the videos in a way that there's nothing like back to back that is um, monotonous. That's like the same, you know? Even though nothing's the same, some things are similar. There's variations of similar requests. And I just want the videos to be like.
rolled out in a specific way, but after this one, I think I have four more. And they should all be out. by the end of next week.